Welcome to a new part of my C Sharp game engine slash game. And as you can see, I have got my instance renderer to work. And um, I just wanted to stress test the whole system now. And it's um, quite stressed, as you can see. Uh, it's um, I have added about 300,000 houses to this world um, the, and my task manager is actually it's pretty good we have not even a 500 megabytes of RAM usage we have 30% uh, percent of my uh, GPU so it's actually not that bad and as we go through the world um, everything in the visual range gets added to the uh, to the instance rendering now I'm under th uh, 60 FPS I could add a automatic system that just lowers the uh, the viewing range to be again in 60 FPS and there is no like alternative models with about four vertices per model or something like that for this, the things that are far away I need to add LOD models for all of these things um, but for now it's I'm very happy with my instance rendering system it's working quite beautifully um, so at the moment we can go up and we have 30 FPS we have over 100,000 um, uh, active entities now so that's actually quite a lot um, if you think about it and it's still with 30 FPS that's, I think that's absolutely okay for now. Um, I will go over the technical details um, now too, to explain a little bit what I'm doing here. Another thing that was completely changed is that this is now all a frame buffer. And the blue you see in the screen is a post-processing effect because uh, shadow mapping is planned and will be implemented in the next step. So I needed to have a frame buffer anyway and I played around a little bit with the frame buffer. For example, I have, I have a separate depth texture that you can see here. Uh, and yeah, you can see the, like the frame buffer output and uh, the depth texture of the, of the frame buffer itself, which, uh, which is uh, writing to the um, red channel of this texture. Let's uh, go over the um, instance renderer. Here you can see we have uh, all the types of instances that are getting rendered. We have of type house or house type 02. We have 1405 instances. The 2x2 two two grass spot that's always this thing that's below the houses. We have 14,000 at the moment and of the I think the well model is in fact a tree so I think that's this tree thingy um, so this is um, all the things that are you know, which are more than one of them is available so it gets it's, get, it's added to the instance renderer the cool thing is it, it went into my uh, um, current rendering system quite flawlessly as we only had to change following um, you just specify for example at the in the house entity you have one more variable that just evaluates if is this instance rendered or not and if it is instance rendered every time it wants to render itself or oh, it's getting updated then um, here you have um, if it's instanced and it, it is if it is in the distance of the camera frustrum culling is not yet implemented that will improve the performance massively which is so I, I didn't come around to do that yet so there's going to be another statement if it's not in the frustrum don't render it and what it does on every frame is every house is like okay I need to be rendered I am instance rendered so I'm going to add myself to 
a stack of my model. So I know I'm model house 02. So I tell the instance renderer, hey, add to the stack of house 02 this data. This data will get transferred in an SSBO and um, shader storage buffer object. And what I'm at the moment only adding is, for example, the, uh, only uh, adding is the position. But I can add as many float or whatever variables I want into this buffer per house. So for example, what is going to follow next is if I'm hovering over a house, it will add some data to this uh, list that it, that it will tell the, the shader, hey, this house is highlighted at the moment, draw everything in a gray color with the shading so that you can see it is um, at the moment highlighted. Or if you want to, for example, show me all the houses that have less than four inhabitants, it will just like every house then it will look, okay, I have less than four inhabitants and then add this information for the shader so the shader can highlight it. So this is the plan. Let's go through the what it's go, what it's doing here. It's adding to a stack and then it's just, okay, get me the current stack. If it doesn't find the stack, it throws an exception and adds this model to uh, a list or a dictionary of models that are already there. Um, and if it's already there, then it will just add its data to uh, the stack of this model and it will just increase the instant co instance counter because hey, it's an it's an instance more, and then uh, in the end the the renderer just goes over all of the models, instance renders them, and then um, it is pretty much done. You just have to then clear the stacks, and you have to. Um, uh, like uh, reset the total count of um, of models and uh, instance counter because if you don't reset it here it will just increase and increase and increase and then it will just crash your computer i heard um so this is how my instance renderer is working that is pretty much all the news i have for my engine there is one more thing that is like i have i had a whole a big restructure of my file system uh, and now I have everything in uh, tidy in some folders and I deleted files that were just like made but not written into so this is what happened in the last few days and that's pretty much it thank you for watching